Dubai Mega Mansion da 40 milioni con garage sottomarino. Oddio, ma è Ivan! Dubai è eh, No, è Enes, I Ines. Love Dubai for so ma aspetta, ma scusa, ma, ma state scherzando? Questa è super car blondi fortissima. Sì. Questo ragazzi penso che sia uno dei più forti Uno dei più forti a fare le recensioni delle case Le cose tra... A parte che è una produzione della Madonna Poi è veramente bravo Welcome to Dubai Today we're checking out this newly constructed modern estate Located on Billionaire's Row in Palm Jumeirah This house features five bedrooms Ah ma Palm Jumeirah è la, la, la palma fatta tipo costruita Cioè è quella sorta di palma con le spiagge con do... Sopra le ville dei ricchi We're gonna start our tour on the exterior. Ma sembra, ma sembra un render. Modern design, newly constructed. And as we turn back and look at the facade of this property, we have travertine clad on top two floors, complemented with these decorative concrete panels, which looks great. And this home consists of four levels because we have a really nice subterranean garage where you can access it. But this driveway on my left hand side, coming to this opening, we go straight into the great room. This is the focal point of the main floor. Nice open seating area, minimalist lines, 23 for ice ceiling. Sono bellissimi sti particolari. La casa è bella, hanno fatta fredda apposta per mettere sti particolari caldi qua. Bellissimi questi particolari caldi con uh, queste pareti. And above that, second floor is all clad. Cazzo, questo <coughs> screen subito. Questo particolare con questi. Con queste lastre qui che sembrano. Sono super particolari. Con dietro le luci lo voglio anch'io in casa mia. Bellissimo. It's really close to the crescent, which is the island that. Surrounds the palm, so you get more open, better views, open body of water, and it's just a great spot to just relax, enjoy the water, maybe go jet boarding and breath. Oh, sportivo views. il campione. Yeah, Atlantis right in front of us. Royal Atlantis around the corner. It's pretty awesome. Yeah, it's incredible. Ma Now, let's per... continue our tour. Right on the other side, we have the family room. This is another spacious seating Cos area, and it feels a little bit more intimate because ceiling heights here are lower than the great room. We have leather paneled walls, beautiful Cazzo, sai che però mettere, flat, mettere in, il pavimento in, in, um, in grass e il soffitto in legno così con i pannelli non è male. Eh? Scalda un botto l'ambiente, bellissimo. One more detail I want to point out here. We have this glass section here right in front of the TV. L'isola della vacanza. It's a 6.5 million dollar La Ferrari Aperta because this section here looks into ah, the subterranean garage. That part of the home is super Porca exciting. Puttana, We have someone... And... Ha visto che dura tanto e mi sto cagando addosso, ragazzi, spam di Franco, vado in bagno e nel frattempo vi lascio vedere il video. One eternity later. And on top of that, it's so close to the crescent that it gets phenomenal views. In fact, beach is literally right there. And within a few steps, you can be this close to the water. I mean, look at our views. Honestly, this setup is truly Banco. one of a kind. E da Rasta con il mio floor e il backyard. Now let's go back inside so we can check out the lower level. È il mio preferito, il tizio è fortissimo. Bravissimo, vecchio. Where is my mind about this house? You can actually drive down into your garage and everyone else is parking 40 milioni. 400 cammelli più o meno. Kind of put them away and keep them clean and tidy. Ho due mogli, non lo so. 40 milioni comprese le macchine. No, no, scusa, solo la casa. Beautiful marble floors. And this discrete door right here opens up to the utility area where you have access to your pumps, pool no motors, no. and every single utility no. you can think of when it comes to servicing ah. this property. We also have another discrete door here opens up to the driver's room. Think about this room as your second staff quarters. You have a single bed here, closet set up, its own AC unit, and around the corner we have a full bathroom with a walk-in shower and a washer and dryer. Now coming back to the landing, elevator access on our left hand side, and then you have this glass door taking you to the subterranean garage. This is an incredible space, and there are so many details that I want to cover. Two more on this side, one here, one there, in total you can put up to 14 cars here and really take advantage. Oddio, sai che non lo so, potrebbe essere? Mercedes potrebbe essere un one on one, non lo so. Però ha ah, ah, vabbè, ha delle macchine che non hanno senso, Now, it's a really big deal. Zio, lì ha la, la mia macchina preferita di quando ero bambino. La Bugatti, chi... ah no, cosa? No, la Ferrari. La prima Mercedes che l'SLR sulla destra, l'SLR McLaren. Numbers are staggering. This is a McLaren. Eccola qui. Mansory Renova Renovazio. 
Comunque Mercedes ragazzi non c'è un cazzo da fare, fa delle macchine che sono right incredibili. That, we have a La Ferrari Aperta ecco, da 6,5 milioni di una Ford GT questa qua raga. First Motors okay. license plates. And First GT. Motors is an amazing car dealership located here in Dubai and they have the craziest inventory I have ever seen yeah, in my yeah, life. Yeah. And these cars are just a proof of that. We have the Ford GT here around $1 million. Anche Beautiful art installation. Roba. On no, the other no, side, we have a Black Series Bella, sì. AMG GT, GT. P1 around $850,000. Then we have the Ferrari F12, which is around ah, $1.4 million. Another La Ferrari, around $3.5 million. And lastly, the crown jewel of this gallery, we have a Bugatti Chiron Super Sport 300 plus. This is actually the world's fastest car with a top speed of 494 kilometers, What? which is around 305 miles an hour. It costs about $6.5 million. And without a doubt, The most beautiful car I have ever seen in my life. Look at this thing. Quanta Pretty incredible. Va? And you said all the furniture. 500-900 km h Ma ha un reattore nucleare, un reattore lì dietro, non ha una... Ma è la come. macchina più veloce What? del mondo della strada. C'ha 1500 cavalli, ragazzi. La Honda Civic di Ciccio è più veloce. Unfortunately. <ride> eh, ma perché c'ha la lettone. Eh. Here we are on the first floor landing. We have three bedrooms on this level. Junior primary here, primary bedroom on this side. And we have this door opening up to the smallest bedroom out of the three. Plaster walls, queen size bed, built-in closets, beautiful marble wall with stainless steel inlay, and then it transitions into this leather Anche section on the right hand side. Minchia, It's bello. front facing and we can oh, see like those concrete decorative eh. panels up front right here. And they also have a Julian balcony. Now, around the corner, we have a personal bathroom, molto, Antonio Luby Vanity, chrome fixtures. They always have the minimal, there's no wood. No, usano poco sì, legno però... a meno che non è, si tratta di soggiorno no ma quello sì cioè, anche a me piace un botto il marmo e tutto Now, così minimal right però boh, mi sa proprio di molte mi sanno di hotel ma perché sono pulite non sono arredate cioè sono arredate ma non sono piene di roba non, non, non sanno di vissuto And look at your views. You have the Atlantis La roba right è esagonale devastante. Home Jamira and the decorative concrete panel that I Divano. talked about. It's no, la roba era esagonale fuori sul balcone. Coming back to the bedroom, uh. king size bed on my right hand side. Behind that you have a statuary marble book match. It's a beautiful slab. And looking up you have your hinge light fixtures, drop ceiling with marmo, mood lighting. Or Baco! And the way they designed this home, they try to put glass as much as possible to Do make these rooms and these arriva. walls a little bit more open. Skylight above, walk-in shower on this side, massive rain head, and look at the size of this walk-in shower. Fixtures are gorgeous, your shampoo and ish, beautiful bathroom. Now, let's go to the other side. We have the water closet here and the bidet. It leads you to your walk-in closet. But first, I want to actually take everybody this way. You actually have a really cool courtyard dedicated to your primary bathroom. It's an open air space, super It's private. Figata. Outdoor seating area, you have the planter on this side. You know, has, and now coming here, we have the dining area. This table here costs $26,000. Definitely over my price range, but looks beautiful, complements the space. And right on the other side, you have a small kitchenette that has everything you need. You have a dishwasher, Gagano gas cooktop with the built-in vent, sink. By the way, dishwasher is located here, and you have your fridge on this side. And on the back, you have all your pantry space, wine fridge, microwave, everything you need. But more importantly, you can just open up these sliding glass doors and really enjoy the outdoors. We have a really nice seating area here, outdoor dining area on this side, and just like the back here, we have another outdoor kitchen here, same brand, grill, <laughs> and this back here is actually connected to the Juliet Falcony up. I'm singing late night in the windowsill, hit the lightning don't catch it, then the thundercats will.